Next, we'll move on to discuss the different types of joint movements. Linear movements, angular movements, and rotational movements. There are different types of motion that the joints of the body allow. For example, linear motion in which a point such as the elbow moves in a straight line. There can also be motion that results in a change in angle of one of the bones in the joint. A bone can also be rotated through the actions of a joint in the body. The joints of the body allow for a number of movements which are referenced from the anatomical position. The movements are categorized into sliding movements, angular movements, rotations, and special complex movements. Let's begin with an example of a gliding movement. Gliding movements are when two opposite surfaces slide past each other. The articulating surfaces of the carpal bones, for example, perform this type of movement. This slight movement is limited by ligaments and the capsule. Joints also permit angular movements. Angular movements include adduction, abduction, flexion, and extension. For example, when the fingers are brought together from an open position, this is adduction. When the fingers are spread out or away from the body, this is known as abduction. These terms refer to the appendicular skeleton. Movement in the anterior posterior plane or movement that reduces the angle between the articulating bones is called flexion. An example is bending at the wrist and bringing the hand closer to the body. When the angle between the articulating bones is increased on the other hand, this is known as extension, such as in bending at the wrist and moving the hand away from the body. Rotational joint movements. The movement at the head to the left and to the right is an example of rotational movement. This movement is a rotation of the head on the neck vertebra and musculature. The location of the radius and ulna bones to one another permit rotation also at the distal end of the radius. This action moves the wrist from palm side up to palm side down. Pronation is the movement where the palm moves from facing forward to facing backward. The opposite movement in which the palm turns forward is known as supination. There are also special joint movements that are specific to the articulation, such as depression and elevation while shrugging your shoulders. The ankle joint is capable of dorsiflexion, which is raising the toes up, and plantar flexion, which elevates the heel.